Welcome back to StarCraft Remastered. This is Mission 6 for the Terran Campaign, Emperor's Flight. Captain, we have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Ire. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg broods surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the broods seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Minsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain, you will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Minsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stukov and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. That's a lot of Hydralisks. Luckily we have Valkyries coming in to deal with them. So it shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. I really like the, the look of these Valkyries. They're new for the Brood, uh, Brood War campaign. Have uh, dual missiles. Quite a lot of health. I don't have control of these forces yet, so I just need to let them do what they're, they're going to do. Oh, I've got control of them now. Right. Oh, they killed one of the tanks. Okay, that is, uh, that is interesting. I've got these troops here. We've got some dropships coming in as well. Uh, the last time I played this mission, uh, both the tanks survived, but it looks like the Valkyries didn't really do their job and they didn't protect the other tank there, but uh, that's okay. Uh, there are two ways to complete this mission, the easy way and the difficult way. Uh, I'm going to do it the easy way, just because why not. Uh, so let's go and uh, repair this uh, this tank. Three tanks I think will we'll do the job just as well as four. Well, almost just as well. Um, actually, let's keep them in siege... I was going to keep them in siege mode, but all of the Zerg um, buildings have been destroyed. Let's go and bring the tanks uh, into the uh, into the dropship there. Just wait for this one to get healed up. Hopefully the three will do. We've got a science vessel, we've got some Valkyries here as well. I'm going to use these to, to scout out the path. Uh, we need to head up to the top, uh, the northeast, and take out Menx's, um, uh command centre there. Uh, we've got three tanks to do it, so let's go into tank mode, go and pick that up. Okay, we're just going to fly straight there, drop the, drop the siege tanks, and hopefully that will be enough to take out the command center. Uh, this is why I've got the Valkyries flying ahead, just to... Um, to make sure the dropships don't get into any trouble here. We need to thread the needle between the, uh, the Zerg and the Protoss. Just going to wait for the dropships to catch up a little bit. I do want them on the very edge of the screen so that they don't um, get in sight of any more enemies than they need of to. The dropships are a little bit slower than the Valkyries. Perfect. It's there's, a, there's a turret there, but that's okay. Of course, my Perfect. Your forces it's are under your time. time. Of course, my dear. Input coordinates. 
Transit HQ. I copy that. Buckle up. Destination! I'm listening. Hang on, we're in for some job. Identify targets! Go ahead, HQ. Order, sir! Okay, and here we are, so hopefully they're not going to send out any forces to take out these tanks. I do want them to attack the, uh, the command center first, if they can. They should be able to reach. I don't know why they're still going for these turrets. We can get them to just focus their firepower on the center. They should be able to take it out before um, the Protoss sends reinforcements. Take out this turret here as well. There go. To Captain, the warp gate at the center of the Protoss encampment has been activated. Our sensors show that the gate's energies are inciting the Zerg to attack. Be prepared for anything, Captain. Good work, Captain. The command center is destroyed, but it looks like Mix and Raynor will try to escape through the warp gate. Make ready to move in and intercept their vessel before. Wait. Just picked up multiple Zerg signals coming in from the northeast. That's Duran's position. But he seems to have moved his forces out of place. Lieutenant Duran, this is Stuka. Come in. I'm tracking a massive Zerg swarm in your quadrant. Respond, damn it. That is strange, Vice Admiral. My scanners don't show any Zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. Lieutenant, if these Zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Duran! Captain, your position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dugal that I have a personal matter to take care of. Your forces are under attack. He escapes yet again. So, Mengs, it looks like Mengs has gone through the uh, the warp gate, and he's just out of our reach yet again. But uh, we have completed the mission. Fairly quick mission if you do it that way. Six minutes, twelve thousand um, total score. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon for the next video.